I'm Shannon, and I live in Port Colborne. I'm Frank, and I live with Shannon in Port Colborne. I went to school with Joe in high school, and that's where we first met. So I know him quite well. I know him quite well. And I know Joe through this guy. <laughs> I know him personally, and I, and I trust him. So I would much rather deal with somebody I trust who's going to give it to me straightforward about a house, if there's something wrong with it, or or just be honest with me. And that's a lot easier to, to have in somebody you know and trust than just some real estate agent. There was there was a couple of houses we looked at and he like, he, he didn't really say nothing, but he was just like, <laughs> no, you don't want this one. Yeah, <laughs> so, he was straight with us. Yeah, it, it was it was good. I mean, I didn't know Joe at the time. That's how I met him was when we started looking for the house. But if this guy trusts him, then I trust him. So. I think the biggest benefit was just having somebody that he already knew so well and we knew was going to be honest with us. So when we first were interested in looking for houses, uh, Shannon, with, without my knowledge, <laughs> made an interview with um, or had a meeting with a real estate agent. So I, I obliged and we went to meet this real estate agent to look at a couple of houses. And one of the houses I know very well, and, and it has some drainage problems in the yard because I used to do landscaping on this house. And I remember when we went there, like, do you remember, like, the, the lawn was, like, flooded in water, and the guy's like, oh, yes. it's just it's I just because that. we had rain the other night. And I'm like, no, it's like this all the time. Like, I used to cut <laughs> the grass here, and we would skip. And so I could just tell, talking to this guy, I didn't know him, but I could tell that all he wanted to do was make a sale. He just wanted to sell us a house. I, I, I felt that he... He wasn't looking for our best interest. He, he just wanted to make a sale. Every house we went to was the best house for us. And when we, when, when we decided to investigate with Joe on some houses, <laughs> it was the complete opposite. He would tell us exactly what is wrong with the house, what's good about it, what's bad about it. We definitely had a different experience and it worked out for the best after we went with Joe. I would say there's quite a few examples of Joe going the extra mile um, for, for one, we were, were in, a, in a bit of a hurry to get a house. We, we didn't want to wait mm -hmm. six months or a year. We, we wanted to get a house soon. And when I first talked to Joe, he said, well, normally we'll go and look at maybe three or four houses. And, and I said, no, I want to look at 12. And, and he said, what? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, I don't, I'm like, I want to go today that you're available today. I said, I want to go and look at 12 houses. And he he kind of advised against it but he was willing to work with us on it and that day we went and looked at 12 houses and we picked this one yeah <laughs> so and i think we only went out once i really trust him and and knowing him personally i know his character he's very likable he's very easy to get to know and he's very honest and upfront and, and for that reason I, I would recommend him to to anybody and and i think uh, anybody who knows him would would do the same i think i just enjoyed the banter between these two <laughs> <laughs> While we were driving around looking at we, houses, <laughs> we, we had a lot. It was definitely of fun. a fun experience. I can't think of anything more of him that I could ask for, uh, especially considering when when we got this house, it was the only one on the list that was one of those com free listings. Which, uh, from what I understand, is a fairly difficult for real estate agents to deal with. It was tough for him because he he may not have made out as well as he would have on, on a different deal. He was looking out for our best interest. He did whatever he could to, to deal with them and get us what we wanted, even at his own expense, which I, I really appreciated him going the extra mile that way. I don't think this process could have gone any easier for me, honestly. <laughs> These guys and especially Joe did all the work and I was just really appreciative of it because it was a super busy time in both of our lives. So to not have to stress or worry about a lot of things during that time and have everything done for us was great. I, I couldn't have asked for anything more. 